Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sound effect uh, circuit based on the UM3561A uh, DIP8 IC. What you're going to need is a 8 ohm 0.5 to 2 watt speaker, a 10K resistor, a 2N2222 NPN transistor, a DIP8 UM3561A IC through hole, a 240K ohm resistor, and four monetary push switches. Now for your power supply you can use two AA batteries in series. You want to keep the power supply uh, under four volts. I've actually fried one of these by going too high. So what we'll do right now is we'll talk about the schematic. This is our schematic. You've got three volts here. This is our power supply. This is the positive. This is the negative. Three volt supply can come from um, two AA batteries in series. Uh, when you see this downwards arrow it's an indicator that that's the ground line so anything uh, with anywhere on the board where there is one of those connected it means they're all interconnected uh, whenever you see this VCC line that means that our, that's our power supply line which means that this is connected to this is connected to this and uh, to this so what happens here is this first monetary push switch acts to apply power to the to the uh, to the device now first I'll talk about the pins of the chip your indicator is here that this is pin 1 Pin one is our selector select two pin. Uh, pin two is our pin one is our selector two pin. Uh, pin two is ground. Pin three is our output. Pin four is not used. Pin five is connected to the three volt supply. Pin six is our selector one pin, and pin seven and eight are our oscillator pins. So let's start with the oscillator pins. This resistor is between the oscillator pins, and that range can be between 240k to 300k. That sets our internal oscillation. Uh, we've also got our output, which is pin 3, is connected to a 10K resistor, which is also connected to uh, the base of an NPN 2N2222 transistor. And uh, the emitter of the transistor is connected to ground. The collector of the, tra of the uh, transistor is connected to one of the pins on our 8-ohm speaker, and the other pin is connected to VCC. So when a signal goes along this line, it uh, acts to amplify the sound through the speaker. Uh, for those of you who don't know about the 2N2222, it's a uh, it's an NPN, and when you look at it from the front, from the flat side, the base is the middle pin, and the collector is the right pin, and the emitter is the leftmost pin. But you can find a pin out of that online as well. So anyway, getting back to it, now what we need to worry about is the uh, data on our selector pins. When you have both uh, selector 1 and selector 2 pins uh, left floating, left unconnected, uh, and you apply power by pressing this button you hear a police siren now unfortunately because of this because if you uh, this is so you can save power if you just turn on power and apply power to the uh, UM3561A you just you, you hear a siren you can't stop it so you in, in order to save power what I've done is added basically a power switch here so when you press that you hear a siren now in the case where you want to hear uh, different different tones you're going to have to press the different buttons in a different order as you can see selector 1 has the op option of being connected directly to VCC or to ground and our selector 2 pin is has, has the opportunity to be connected to our VCC line the one thing you don't want to do is press both the uh, the uh, selector 1 connected to VCC and connected to ground at the same time or else you're going to literally short circuit your device and that's not going to be very happy that's not going to make your your uh, batteries pretty upset so or your wall ward or whatever you choose to use so there's four different sound effects let's build this up and uh, we'll go through them my device is now fully assembled as you can see I've got a speaker I've got our the uh, 212222 transistor the 1k resistor at the base of the transistor Right here is my 240 kilo ohm oscillator uh, resistor. I've got my chip. Each uh, wire denoted by red is connected to the 3 volt line, VCC. Uh, green is connected to some selector 2 to my button. White um, is connected to my selector 1 pins. And I've got the four buttons on the board. Now, in the case here where I press just one and apply power to the device, uh, it should give me a police siren. If I press power, 
plus switch two, so one switch one plus switch two, I should get a machine gun sound. If I press uh, pin or button one and pin three, I should get an ambulance sound. If I press pin one or button one and button four, I should get a fire truck uh, sound coming from our speaker. So first of all, yeah, let's just press button number one. This applies power to the device and leaves selector one and selector two inputs floating or rather not connected. Pretty cool, huh? So that's police. Now I'll press buttons one and two and that should give us a machine gun sound. Now I'll press buttons one and three for an ambulance sound. Now I'll press buttons one and four for a final sound effect, and that's a fire truck. That's my least favorite of them all, but um, but uh, it's a really cool chip. It's inexpensive. You can find it on eBay for three dollars. The monetary push switch and the passive components, such as the resistors and the transistor, cost pennies at best. The speaker costs nothing. You can go to a dollar store and disassemble some kind of dollar store amplifier and take the take the speaker out. The speaker is uh, very inexpensive. All in all, very ex inexpensive circuit. What you can do is you can actually interface this with a microcontroller as long as your inputs are three volts or no higher than three volts. You know, it's or you can actually add transistors and pull up pull up resistors if you wanted to to make this compatible with your microprocessor. You can even amplify. Add an, uh, a, uh, a power amplifier or audio amplifier circuit to make the uh, sound effects louder. There are a lot of, there aren't very many limitations. Data sheet is very small, but it's easy to understand. But if you get these parts in, this whole project should cost you well under ten dollars. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Fun little project. Uh, I do appreciate you watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, I hope you continue to watch my tutorials. Thanks, guys.